Welcome to the February 4th, 2011 edition of Inside Rensselaer, the video podcast that lets you know what's going on inside Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Let's start off with some campus news. The Center for Career and Professional Development will host the 10th annual Spring Career Fair on February 9th in the Armory. More than 150 employers will be represented. In student news, Dara Greenwald, doctoral candidate in the Arts Department, is co-editor of the exhibition catalog Signs of Change, Social Movement Cultures, 1960s to Now. Aaron Smith, a senior research specialist and graduate student in the Lighting Research Center, was recently recognized by the Illuminating Engineering Society of North America as one of 25 rising stars in the lighting profession. And the Rusty Pipes, one of Rensselaer's student a cappella singing groups, will host and perform during the International Championship of Collegiate a cappella quarterfinal regional competition on February 5th in the MPAC Concert Hall. In alumni news, former student athlete and head men's hockey coach Gary Kearns, class of 58, has been chosen to be the sixth inductee into Rensselaer's exclusive Hockey Ring of Honor. IBM celebrated supercomputer Watson will square off against Jeopardy! champions on February 14th through 16th. Watson's project team is led by David Ferrucci, class of 94, and includes a number of Rensselaer alumni. All three episodes will be shown at MPAC with discussion with scientists from Rensselaer and IBM. In faculty and staff news, Professors Robert Linhart and Abby Kitchney will both speak at the upcoming American Association for the Advancement of Science annual meeting in Washington, D.C., the theme of this year's meeting is Science Without Borders. Transportation engineering expert Jose Hulguin Varad has been named the William Howard Hart Professor. An endowed professorship is among the highest honors bestowed on a Rensselaer faculty member. Tariq Abdoun has been named the Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies within the School of Engineering. Advanced manufacturing expert Daniel Walzik has been named a Fellow of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Citing his contributions to three-dimensional integrated circuit technology, James Liu has been named a fellow of the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. Andrew Corbett has been named editor of the Advances in Entrepreneurship, Firm Emergence, and Growth book series. Shekhar Gard has received many lecture honors recently from places including Caltech, the Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai, the Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers, and the University of Toronto. Paul Marthers has written a new book titled Eighth Sister No More, The Origins and Evolution of Connecticut College. Rick Hart will be retiring on March 4th. Special celebrations coordinated by the Division of Student Life, Student Leaders, and Campus Members will take place on February 25th and 26th. Alexander De Silva has been named Director of Auxiliary Parking and Transportation Services. Helen Grismala has been promoted to Budget Director in the Office of Finance and Eileen McLaughlin has been promoted from Budget Director to Assistant Vice President for Finance and Budgeting. And finally, in research news, engineering researchers have developed liquid pistons in which oscillating droplets of ferrofluid precisely displace the surrounding liquid. The pulsating motion of the droplets, which are saturated with metal nanoparticles, can be used to pump small volumes of liquid. A new explanation of how humans solve problems creatively provides a roadmap to building systems that perform like humans at the task. Ron Sun introduced the explicit-implicit interaction theory in a paper he co-wrote published in Psychological Review. And the Lighting Research Center is steering a major initiative to promote sustainable lighting in South Asia. Their efforts reached a milestone last week when global lighting manufacturers, world finance and development organizations, and leading government representatives met to develop a regional lighting technology roadmap. For in-depth versions of these stories and more, visit rpi.edu slash about slash inside. We'll be back on February 18th with our next episode. Thanks for listening.